Hello. Well, I have started doing my eyebrows already because I think when it comes to doing a get ready with me, eyebrows to me are the most boring part to watch. So, turning 50 in December, December 10 to be exact. And I just wanted to say that I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting into my 50s. And, you know, I just wanted to say when it came to skincare at a very young age for me, eye cream was the most essential part of the skincare routine that I did when I was growing up as a teenager. I don't even know what it was. I just knew that if I had applied eye cream at a very young age, it was going to help me to prevent mainly wrinkles, fine lines, crow's feet, etc. Now, I do have a lot of brown spots, melasma, hyperpigmentation, all due from aging and of course sun damage. External filters and external factors such as pollution, you know, jogging on the road, um, things like that contribute to getting all these things like melasma and hyperpigmentation, brown spots, whatever you want to call them. So I've never ever in my life done any kind of laser treatment because I'm scared to do it. I've never done any microdermabrasion. Actually, I lie. The only microdermabrasion that I've actually ever done was one that was just using water, not anything like diamond crystals or anything like that. And I'm just, I've got a big fear of it. I see people getting it done and I know that after a couple of days, their skin just peels and they get all this crusty skin that just you know shows the new skin underneath i'm a big firm believer in just using exfoliators like topical you know um just nice gentle exfoliators and liquid exfoliators as well you know i also am a big believer in using sunscreen on a daily basis in fact every day and uh yeah just being old-fashioned that way in terms of you know looking after my skin when it comes to this the type of skin that I have which is normal to combination skin sometimes oily I obviously look for products that are not going to make that you know worse and then I use certain powders and stuff I need to mattify etc but at the same time I do love a healthy glow now I also love having a natural matte look for the face when it comes to doing makeup so anyway today is just a little get ready with me and I'm just going to be using very simple makeup maybe just using a monochromatic brown shade all over the face but started off with the boy brow this is by Glossier and yeah just wanted to say for everyone who is in their 50s and beyond you know 50s and younger this is really applicable to anyone so it doesn't need to get any more complicated skincare doesn't need to be any more harder you don't need 10 steps to do a skincare regime in fact retinol vitamin c a nice exfoliator like bhas ahas uh, glycolic acids niacinamide all that sort of stuff is found in, in skincare now. You can get it. And um, these days you can actually um, combine them all together depending on the type of product and percentage that it has. So I just wanted to let you know that at the moment I've just got last night's skincare on my face and I'm going to be going in with a nice face base today which I've been really loving is can I find it here it is it's been sitting on my table all along so this is the Bobbi Brown um, face base and it's I've just been loving it because it's so fresh scented just a little dollop of that on the face and mm, it just it really uplifts the spirit massage that into the face now also you know circulation and using a gua sha tool is definitely all beneficial in helping the skin look more plumper bringing more you know um just a nice more glowy look to the face i don't do it on a daily basis i got the tool and I don't use it. It's supposed to be, you know, excellent for helping to eliminate a double chin. I need to get it out. I need to start using it. I need to actually drop some pounds, which I am working on slowly. It's getting there. 
Oh dear. I recently did a cabbage soup diet for seven days and I lost two kilos. I haven't regained the weight back, but the first thing that I did notice was that my double chin was reduced a little bit. It really was, and that made me happy. It made me happy because one of the things that I hate when I'm lying in bed is this double chin, like if I'm resting on it like this, it, it makes me angry. And sometimes I feel like I'm suffocating and I can't breathe. And it's really weird. I don't know if anyone else experiences that issue with having a, a double chin. I don't know, it, it's, it needs to go. And um, you know, I've looked at having surgery done and it's just like, I don't wanna go through the pain. I don't want to go through the pain of having threading done or even just you know putting needles in there and dissolving the fat I know you know certain things will hurt but the fact that this really would hurt I'm very you know susceptible and I don't like having anything to do with the sore throat it just it really gets me down okay I'm so sorry I'm talking so much but yeah I just wanted to it's a get ready with me it's a babbling get ready with me and i'd really love to hear your thoughts on how you guys are going through reaching a certain age and has your skincare um been more just skincare without makeup or are you still yeah you know, experimenting with makeup and going heavier because i know a lot of people who are aging just really love to just get more into the makeup these days now I've just noticed that my battery is getting low so I might have to change it at some point okay now that that I've had a chance to have this sink into the skin I am just going to be going in with some powder to powder the face and I'm using the um, Bobbi Brown face palette which has got all my fingerprint fingerprints on it it's the ambient lighting edit ghost unlocked i've had this for so long but it's got some really nice tones in there now to be fair i use these two here together and dust it all over my face so i'm going to be just getting a brush a buffing brush and dipping into these two shades here and i don't have sunscreen on my face today but on any given day where I would say you're going to be really going outdoors, even if you're just indoors, you should be wearing sunscreen, but I'm not wearing it today. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm just going to let the sunscreen hide today. Over the eyes. You know, I'm not even going in with concealer today. It's just really something just dusting on. Now I'm going to be going in with some bronzer. The bronze shade in here is beautiful. So I'm just dipping into that. It's very medium toned, neutral toned as well. Just doing a little dusting of that all over the cheeks. I might go in with a little bit of blush as well from the same palette which is this one here i'm really just dipping into everything and anything right now mainly just the bronzer and these two together why not and i have a pimple right there which i have been treating with the glow recipe bha liquid and seems to be doing a, a good job picking up a little bit of that blush and i'm going to just dust that over the lids i'm picking up a little bit of that bronzer and taking it down the neck as well okay and now that i'm here i'm going to do a little bit of highlighter why not uh just going to get my favorite highlighting brush which i love to use it's by uh, real techniques 
and it's this one here it's just a really simple highlighting brush dipping into these two shades here which is just like a peachy and this one here is like a champagne -y shade together and just gonna run that over the tops of the cheekbones there we go run it through the edges of the eyebrow tip of the nose and bridge of the nose again all right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pause the video because this is the most boring part as well just applying mascara I'm only going to be applying on the top lashes only I'm going to leave the lower lashes bare I'll be back this is the Lancome drama which is it the hypnos drama mascara I'll be back soon the lashes have been completed I'm now gonna be completing the look with just this little mini matte revolution lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury in pillow talk and you can definitely put in some lip liner which I'm going to do NYX new Daphne retractable lip liner pen just gonna overdraw the lips a bit now you know when it comes to makeup for people who just really want to have the bare minimal look you just you don't need a million products you can use honestly you know what you use on your cheeks you know you can even use your lipstick as a cheek product to do cream lipstick there and you can use it Honestly, you can even use it on your eyes if you wanted to and just set it with a little bit of translucent powder and, and make it work. Uh, these days, I'm all about trying to minimize the amount of makeup that I buy. But if I really, 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 really want something, I'm going to obviously splurge out and get it because I just want it, you know. Whether it's because I feel like I just need to have it in my life, I need to have it in my life, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it. Now... me having extremely dry lips in this video is typical it would have been a, a wise idea for me to exfoliate my lips and obviously put a little bit of lip balm on them before doing lip lip but, but by doing my lipstick but no I didn't do that so anyway um, that is the look and I really just wanted to have this rant i'm going to be doing a lot more makeup and get ready with me targeting mature skin and um i think that going forward into the 50s i think it's important just to talk to the audience that will get the most benefit and um yeah so just wanted to say i'm looking forward to doing some more videos and i would really 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 love to hear your thoughts on what you think about beauty and if there's anything that you'd like me to show you how to do or if there's any issues that you find that you struggle with whether it be creasing concealer under the eyes or cakey foundation or even just application tips um, please let me know I'll be more than happy to to do videos on that and um, yeah guys so thank you so much for watching this short get ready with me I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all again soon bye for now